Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how to build a simple IGBT and MOSFET tester that works with both N channel and P channel transistors. This tester will help you determine whether your transistor is good, shorted, or completely dead. It runs on 9 volt battery and uses a DPDT switch along with a push button and two LEDs to indicate the transistor type and condition. So without further ado, let's start the video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. <laughs> Before we start building, let's understand how this tester works. We have a DPDT switch that selects between N channel and P channel mode. When you press the push button, the transistor is triggered. If the transistor is working correctly, an LED will light up when you press the button and turns off when it is released. The green LED is for P type and the red LED is for N type. If the LED stays on without pressing the button, the transistor is shorted. If no LED lights up in either modes, the transistor is dead. To build this tester, you'll need the following components. Two LEDs, a DPDT switch, a push button, 220 ohm resistor, 1K resistor, 10K resistor, a 2-pin terminal block, a 3-pin terminal block, 3 pin header, 9 volt battery, battery connector, pref board, and some jumper wires. Now let's wire everything up. First, connect 2 pin terminal block. Now connect the DPDT switch and connect its pin number 1 and 6 to pin number 1 of the 2 pin terminal block and its pin number 3 and 4 to pin number 2 of the 2 pin terminal block. Now connect the 3 pin terminal block and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 5 of the DPDT switch. Now connect 3 pin female header and connect its pin number 1, its pin number 2 to pin number 2 of the 3 pin terminal block and its pin number 3 to pin number 3 of the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect a 10k resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 1 of the 3 pin terminal block and its other pin to pin number 3 of the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect a 220 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect a green LED and connect its anode to remaining pin of the 220 ohm resistor and its cathode to pin number 2 of the switch. Now connect the red LED and connect its anode to cathode of the green LED and its cathode to anode of the green LED. Now connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 1 of the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect a push button and connect its 1 pin to remaining pin of the 1K resistor and its other pin to pin number 2 of the switch. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's test the project. Now let's connect the battery connector. Now connect the 9 volt battery.
And there you have it, a simple yet effective way to test your IGPTs and MOSFETs. This handy tool can save you a lot of time troubleshooting circuits. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.